morning good morning today is um march 20th 2022 no just kidding it's 2023 <clears throat> and i'm going to be starting in the book of john the gospel according to john <clears throat> so lord we thank you for eyes to see ears to hear and enlightening our hearts for understanding thank you for everything and every all the love that you have for us and we want to know you more we want to grow with you more and more and more in the mighty name and in the power and the majesty of jesus amen all right so john in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was in the beginning with god all things came into being through him, and apart from him, nothing came into being that has come into being. Without him, there's nothing. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, that the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. <clears throat> there was a man sent from God whose name was John, he came as a witness to testify about the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light which, coming into the world, enlightens every man. He was the one in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came into his own, and those who were his own did not receive him. But as many received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we saw his glory, glory as of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified about him and cried out saying, this is he of whom I said, he who comes after me has a higher rank than I, for he existed before me. For of his fullness, we have all received and grace upon grace. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. For the law was given through Moses grace and truth were realized through Jesus Christ. No one has seen God at any time, but the only begotten God who was in the bosom of the Father, he has explained him. This is the testimony of John when the Jews sent to him priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who are you? And he confessed and did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Christ. They asked him, what then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? And he answered, no. They asked, uh, I'm sorry, verse 22. Then they said to him, who are you? So that we may give an answer to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? And he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. As Isaiah the prophet said, now they had been sent from the, the Pharisees. They asked him and said to him, why then are you baptizing if you're not the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them saying, I baptize in water, but among you stands one whom you do not know. It is he who comes after me, the thong on whose sandal I am not worthy to untie. These, took, these things took place in Bethany, beyond the Jordan, where, where John was baptizing. The next day he saw Jesus coming to him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he on behalf of whom I said, After me comes a man who has a higher rank than I. For he existed before me. I did not recognize him. But so that he might be manifested to Israel, I came baptizing in water. 
John testified saying, I have seen the spirit descending as a dove out of heaven and he remained upon him. I did not recognize him, but he who sent me to baptize in water said to me, he upon whom you see the spirit descending and remaining upon him, this is the one who baptizes in the Holy Spirit. I have I myself have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. Again, the next day, John was standing with two of his disciples, and he said at Jesus as he walked and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. And Jesus turned and saw them following and said to them, What do you seek? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? And he said to them, come and you will see. So they came and saw where he was staying and they stayed with him that day for it was about one, I'm sorry, for it was about the 10th hour. One of the two who had heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He found first his own brother Simon and said to him, we have found the Messiah, which translated means Christ. He brought him to Jesus and Jesus looked at him and said, you are Simon, the son of John, you shall be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The next day he proposed and to, uh, I'm sorry, the next day he proposed to go into Galilee and he found Philip and Jesus said, Follow me. <clears throat> now Philip was, was from Bethsaida, of the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Because I said to you that I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? Oh, you will see greater things than these. He said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see the heavens opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Oh, that that's just the first chapter of John. How incredible is that? I'm going to go back to uh, John chapter 1, verse 16. I mean, I could go back and just... Psh, psh, this is... It. I love John. I love John. Um, Carmen, like reading, reading the deity of Christ and the witness of John. Um, Carmen has made many songs but there's one in particular which one is it there was a man named john who was sent from god uh who came as a witness you see he came to testify that jesus is the light jesus is the light of the world jesus is the light jesus is the light jesus is the light of the world yeah carmen was amazing but so just it's amazing but i'm going to go to verse 16 of first um or john chapter 1 and then i'm going to go to um zachariah 4 Okay, Zechariah 4, 
It's Zachariah 4, 7. <clears throat> and it, th this, this definitely stands out to me because of all... I, maybe later I will explain. This is after uh, the angel spoke to Zechariah and he said to me, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel saying, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. That was verse chapter six, verse chapter seven. What are you, O great mountain before Zerubbabel? You will become a plain and he will bring forth the top stone, the cat stone, with shouts of grace, grace to it. And then like grace, grace to it. Any kind of mountains, like if you have faith to move mountains, you could speak to it and they'll be moved, right? That's what Jesus told us. Now this, John chapter one, verse 16, for his fullness, we have all received. It didn't say some, it didn't say the elect. It didn't say the rich, the poor. It didn't say anything. It said all received and grace upon grace, grace upon grace. Oh, it's just, it's amazing. And I love like when we, when we go through this and it, we go to verse 33, when, when John the Baptist was talking about Jesus, who was his cousin? Like they were cousins, you know? He said, I did not recognize him referencing Jesus as Christ the Messiah, but he, God, who sent me to baptize in water, said to me, he upon whom you see the spirit descending and remaining upon him is the one who baptizes in the Holy Spirit. And this is what John says, I myself have seen and have testified that this is the son of God. So the paraclete, the dove that came down from heaven and rested upon Jesus, that is how he recognized he is the Christ. And I love it that, that John was obedient. There was no, there wasn't any type of um, jealousy or envy or, well, why wasn't I picked? You know, he knew that everybody had a place. And he knew that he was born out of uh, like incredible conception because his mother was barren, right? And you know, she was, she was up there in years and his father was old, <laughs> but it's, it's truly amazing how Jesus was born out of immaculate conception. Like these two births were miraculous and there was no hesitation. There was nothing he heard from the Lord and he saw the dove land on Jesus and he, the spirit of God was resting upon him. And he's like, he's the one, he's the one. And it wasn't with natural eyes at all. He didn't see him as his cousin then. He knew him as the begotten son of God. Oh, it's amazing. Amazing. All right, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Lord, bless them with life and life more abundantly. And I'm going to go to Colossians chapter 1. All right. Since the day we heard of it, we have not ceased to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding so that you walk in a manner worthy of the Lord to please him in all respects, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthening with all power according to his glorious might for the attaining of all steadfast and, pati and patience joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. And we just read that Jesus is the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it. So thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And Thank you for, 
for for us being able to pick up the blessings in our bloodlines for for all of those in our bloodlines who who's who's sealing that is our floor and we can take it and our ceilings will be the next generation's floor and your your kingdom be magnified and and multiplied and glorified hallelujah in the name of jesus amen